So I got some requests on how I did my eyeshadow the other day. I'm gonna do my best to try and recreate it. I'm just gonna be, I don't know that I'm gonna use all of these, but this is the Bless Ben Forever. I use this end just because it gets color all over quickest. And then this is the brush. I'm gonna use, hey Lucia. So when you have a fluffier brush, it's not gonna deposit as much pigment down and it will blend it out versus like this end, you're gonna have a less area where the uh, pigment's gonna go, but it's gonna be, um, go on heavier. So, have no fear, like sometimes when you do your eyeshadow, you're gonna look a little weird and scary, but trust till the end, like when you get your mascara on, you'll look fine. So I'm gonna put this bone color on and I didn't, I don't use eyeshadow primer. I just put my 3D foundation to, and basically I'm just like canceling out my veins so you don't see them. And I'm gonna put this white color on so that all the other like color colors I put on don't stick to it. And then I have like a glob of yellow there. <laughs> I have a lot of brushes. I, uh, that's what I like about these because they're double ended. And so for the price of some of the really expensive brushes, I get two for one. This is not even an eyeshadow brush. I just like the fluffy end. Okay. We'll see if I can do the rest with one brush. So I'm gonna take this fluffy end and I'm gonna take a light, sometimes I'll use this light brown and sometimes I'll use this light orange. And I have deep set eyes, so I'm gonna go above my crease and I'm not like aiming for a ton of color, just a little bit. And I just go back and forth in little circles. Before I started using mascara, I didn't really have a lot of brushes because it's really overwhelming. Like when you go to like Morphe, there's so much to choose from. And I didn't know what half of them did. Yeah, he's sleeping, he's taking a nap. It's funny because he uh, sleeps through the night and then Eats, will play for an hour, and then goes right back to sleep first thing in the morning. Okay, now I'm gonna go into basic, which is like a mid-tone brown, and I'm gonna use the smaller end. And I'm not used to doing this in a phone where it's like I have such a small space to see. <laughs> I got lucky all my babies were that way. But I had read a book called The Baby Whisperer. All right, now I'm just gonna blend that a little bit. She uh, she had this thing called, I just remember she had a lot of acronyms and one of them was called Easy. And she, uh, so it was the eat, play, or activity. So eat, activity, sleep, and your time. And I love that book because her thing was like, you can't be totally on the baby schedule and you can't be totally on your schedule. You have to find common ground. And that book, I don't know if it's that book or just, that's just how my kids are, but it worked. It has worked for me. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go in with just a little bit darker color on the outer edge. Like this is really easy and quick. And I use like this system and I'll just change out like different colors. One of the things I have to get out of the habit of is I lift my eyebrows, but like on a day to day, I don't like walk around like this. So. <laughs> it's a phase. Yeah. It's hard though to like really let it sink in. It's just a phase when you're going through it. Cause sleep deprivation is serious. I actually have the aura ring. It tracks my sleep. Cause I have historically always had problems. The baby sleeps, but I don't. Cause they say like sleep can be a predictor of dementia, which then I'm in trouble. I'm just gonna blend that out. Sometimes it's hard too when you like 
follow people like Rachel Hollis or a lot of the motivational people and like you have a baby though because it's just a different stage of life like you don't always get time for some of that stuff all right and then I'm gonna take this color Zion I like to always do like a fun color to like blend the dark color all in um I try okay so breastfeeding I um I I couldn't with all three I didn't produce any milk and it was the most stressful thing because in the hospital, like the nurses really gave me a hard time. And it, maybe it's not their fault, maybe mine more so because it was something I really wanted to do. But all three of my babies were jaundice -y. And so they had to, like they had to eat. Like Chase almost got put back in the hospital for the jaundice. Um, so I had to stop trying I just didn't even, even pumping like nothing came out yeah which was so sad because I try and live like supernatural like I use like thieves from a living to clean my house like I don't have any wood to knock on but we really have not been uh, other than some colds like we have not been super sick in years and I'm just taking this Zion color and I'm just like looping it all around but yeah, we have not been sick in, um, from, uh, <laughs> no kidding. I think too, a lot of it was just like me, maybe not communicating very well. Like maybe I need two options, but also like, uh, um, I don't, the third time I know I didn't have a lactation consultant come in. The first time she came in like right before I left the hospital. So it was kind of useless. And the second time they came in and she basically said like, you've got a great latch, but you just aren't making anything. So, and that was that. And then it's like survival mode. So I never like bothered to find anyone outside of the house. And there's not a lot of breastfeeding support. There really isn't. And formulas are so full of so much stuff. I hate to give it to them, but that's what I did. All right, I'm using the L'Oreal Paint Pot. And I, this is like some, I think it's horrific to watch people do this, but I do my uh, waterline because then if I met, like you really can't mess it up and then have like a big, you don't have a straight line or anything. It's just in your waterline. Oh, thanks. He's happy and healthy thus far, so. But I do like my favorite part stages when they start eating solids and I make all that. And it's actually, I think cheaper than buying baby food and it's super easy. And I like to line my water line versus using no liner at all because it at least makes the your lash line look a little thicker. Oh no. I don't, I haven't had a style on my lash line. Oh, um, I used for a long time coconut oil to take my makeup off. Um, but I started using, let me grab it. Pardon me for a second. Okay, I know that I sell Mascara Beauty, but I was a customer, which is why I started selling it. I started using their milk remover, and it is milk remover, a cleanser. They didn't make it. It was a milk scientist who made it, and it comes out like, it's like white liquidy stuff, and it doesn't foam up like a face wash. And I have this, oh, this is so disgusting, but this is real life. I, I wash them every couple days. I have three, and it takes the makeup right off but I'll sometimes use the um, baby wipes from Young Living because I a lot of other makeup removing wipes make me break out the baby wipes from Young Living don't or I'll use coconut oil that doesn't break me out but that will remove my makeup and then um, I'll use this and then I'll double cleanse with it I'll just do like one or two sprays to take the makeup off and the cloth and then I'll go back with one or two sprays and then remove any other dirt and that's what's worked best for me 
because my skin's super sensitive. I have to be careful. I face washes. I've always had a really hard time with. They've always dried my skin really bad. I've tried natural face washes. They didn't work. All right, this part is the trick mascara. Gucci, have you tried last extensions? I'm afraid to get them. Plus, I don't think I could up do the maintenance with three kids. I don't know that I could find the time with them being a baby. Oh, yeah. See, I've heard it, a lot of it comes down who you get, but I've heard a lot of people say they just don't like, I don't like false lashes. I don't like the feeling. And I've done, um, you know, um, Grace, she used, well, she's not at Avondale anymore. She used to be in the uh, district office. I don't know if she was there when you were there. She does lash lifts and like dyes them. I love that she dyes them because my like eyebrows and lashes are really light colored. Uh, and that was wonderful. Um, the lift is okay, but for me, like, even like my regular hair takes curls really well. So it like overly, it like overly permed my lash. And so they were like a little too, oh, like I maybe need to tell her like they don't need to sit as long. And this is Thrive. I love their mascara because that's another pain in the butt to take off is mascara. But this like, I'll have to like do it live one night. It's like, this is probably a poor description, but it's like silicone. And so what you do is you get it wet and then you can just like rub it gently or pull it and it comes off in tubes. Yeah, I I have a really bad problem with transfer. So this is the best one. But I It's 20, $24 and um, I don't think it lasts long. Like it goes bad really fast or sometimes I'll get tubes that are just bad right away. But I can't, uh, the better than sex, almost everything rubs under my eyes. I got this one. I've been trying to couple out. I got a list of ones that people say don't transfer. I got this one, the Colossal Big Shot. It doesn't transfer and it fans out um, your lashes really well. I'll actually put it on underneath and didn't do th Thrive Over That, but I didn't want to be extra today. This one does not transfer, but when I take it off, it like just all comes down here and then stains my under eye. And then I don't want to like scrub that skin to get it off. Oh, I'll have to try the lash stiletto. Uh, but I have a list of a couple other ones to try. Cause that is like, I have, I've always had a real problem with that. Whether like someone told me, well, your under eyes are greasy. And I'm like, eh, no, they're dry. Not now anymore since I started using the cleanser and the, um, the milk moisturizer. It's not dry, but my under eyes used to be like the Sahara Desert and they would burn and I'm like, nope, I still get, I know I love mascara. It makes such a difference. And like when you do your eyeshadow, you can look so weird, but you put on mascara and then it's like, oh no, it looks pretty good. Well, thanks for joining me. I hear the little man up, so I better go. But it's really easy. So I like, my, my trick to eyeshadow, anyone's watching this on replay, I usually use four colors. I'll use a light color all over or like a shimmer color all over. And then I'll go in with like a, a brown or a, like a light to medium brown on the crease and then on the outside a dark brown and then a pop of color. And then it's really fun because you can, once you kind of have like what works for your eyes, you can change out pieces of that so it makes it really simple and when I don't want to do any eyeshadow uh, the thing I love about the mascara 3d foundation is I'll slap put the contour in for my crease and I'll take my blush and put it on for a little bit of color and then I call it a day so oh thank you <laughs> I didn't get a shower yesterday until late in the afternoon and prior to that it was four days so you do you shower when you can shower so uh, and for me I'm homeschooling my middle son so Showering is a challenge. So, all right, I better go because I hear someone up and I need to start school with someone. So I'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining. Bye. 
Oh, and Lucia, give your give your daughter cheek squishes for me because she has the cutest cheeks. Okay, bye.